This video is brought to you by SoccerLoco.com. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for $10 off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike Hypervenom Phantom in the latest Neoline Black and Total Crimson colorway. Inside the box, as with all top end models from Nike, a string bag is included. This particular string bag is Neolime Green in color on the front. You're going to find a black skull and crossbones logo. The back of the bag is black with a small total crimson Nike swoosh at the bottom. And the strings on the bag itself are also black in color. So we'll get that out of the way. Get the shoes out of the box. And if you guys could take a quick second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the latest colorway of the Hypervenom Phantom. It is a very bright and very vibrant lime green color that looks a little bit different in person than I was originally anticipating. Now if you look closely at the upper, and it's not even that close that you have to look, you can tell that there are two different shades of Neo Lime. Um, you're gonna find that the outside border is more of a solid Neo Lime color, it's slightly darker, whereas the interior layer is more of a semi-translucent Neo Lime, similar to the Total Crimson Orange colorway we saw at the launch of the Hypervenom Phantom. So depending on the lighting situation, this is gonna look lighter or darker so just keep that in mind when you buy this but nonetheless if you're looking for a bright pair of lime green soccer shoes this colorway is definitely going to do that for you as far as the rest of the colorway goes you can find black as your main accent color the nike swoosh on both the front and back of the shoe the skull and crossbones logo the nike skin and hypervenom branding are all in black you're going to find black laces a black heel liner a black insole as well as a black sole plate the only total crimson you're going to find on the shoe is this one small Nike swoosh on the sole plate and the Hypervenom branding there on the insole. So for the most part, that is a non-existent color. The one unlisted color on the box is, of course, the chrome on the tongue, which does look a little bit strange against the textured Nike skin backing um, that this material is actually made out of. But nonetheless, I think it accents well with the Neo Lime and black on the rest of the shoe. And overall, it's just a very unique colorway with that chrome tongue. Um, it kind of ties in with the other chrome tongue colorways that Nike is releasing um, this time around. Now, as far as tech specs and the overall performance goes for the Hypervenom Phantom, if you guys are interested in more information on that, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, linked down below in description. Not only on that review page will you find all the information that you could possibly want about the shoe, but you also find buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes, or if you want something quick and short, be sure to check out the video review that I made not too long ago of the Hypervenom Phantom, where I talk about the pros and cons. I'll leave an annotation to that on screen. Now, as far as the tech specs go, just to quickly go over everything here, the upper is obviously made from Nike Skin Synthetic. You can see the branding right there. And up close, Nike Skin is a very, very unusual material. And it doesn't really compare to anything else out there at this point in time. It's made of a base layer of a honeycomb mesh with several thin membrane layers of polyurethane fused on top. There are more layers in certain areas and less layers in certain areas. So uh, support and touch is not sacrificed, even though the material is very thin, very soft and very flexible. I will say this, Nike Skin is easily the most comfortable thin synthetic material currently out there on the market. So if you are looking for an ultra lightweight, more barefoot style playing experience, but don't want a shoe that is uncomfortable, then definitely take a look at the Hypervenom Phantom because like I said, it's very, very comfortable. And Nike Skin even has the unique ability to stretch, which is just a very unusual for any type of thin synthetic soccer shoe. Um, finishing off the um, Nike Skin Upper is of course ACC All Conditions Control, which acts as Nike's wet control element that you're gonna find on all of their top end models. The shoe also features an off-centered lacing system, a fairly low cut in the heel, the heel liner itself is made from a synthetic leather material with a decent amount of padding considering how lightweight this shoe actually is. There is of course an internal plastic heel counter. Moving on to the insole, it is fully removable. You're going to find a mesh liner on top, perforations throughout, and it's just made from one thin layer of foam. It's a little bit thicker than what you're going to find on the Mercurial Vapor 9. Um, and for the most part is very, very similar in terms of feel and performance. It does get the job done, but I did, did find that it does slide around ever so slightly when you are playing, but you can solve that problem, which is putting a dab of glue here at the tip of the toe, or even just swapping out the insoles altogether. Um, in terms of the sole plate and stud pattern, you're gonna find that the sole plate is made from a glass nylon base, which is a slightly stiffer piece of plastic. 
um, than you might find on your standard soccer shoes. So for that reason, it does require a little bit of break-in time. It might feel a little bit awkward at first, but once it's broken in, it will soften up and feel a lot more natural under your feet. Um, there is, of course, that split-toe design also in the sole plate itself which is basically what you see right here. In all honesty, it's not something that you're gonna notice whatsoever. So it's one of those features that is more of a marketing thing than something that is actually functional, at least as far as I'm concerned. But the glass nylon sole plate does definitely provide a more responsive feel and plenty of rigidity and support through the midfoot, which is always important for an ultra lightweight soccer shoe. Now moving on to the stud pattern, it is loosely based off of what you're gonna find from the Mercurial Vapor 9. Obviously all the studs are conical in shape. Apart from these two right here, you're gonna find one bladed support stud in the middle and one Mercurial-esque toe pick stud right at the tip of the toe which is something that Nike is incorporating on a lot of their stud patterns at this point in time, which to me is a very, very positive thing. But nonetheless, this is a great stud pattern on firm natural grass plane surfaces. And what's also great about the Hypervenom Phantom is that it is readily available even in this color in soft ground as well as AG stud variations. So if you are playing on multiple different playing surfaces, those are definitely available to you and you can always have the best stud pattern for the right type of playing surface. One of the problems that I have with a lot of ultra lightweight soccer shoes is that they tend to be not as comfortable as something that weighs in around 9 to 10 ounces. But the Hypervenom Phantom does not suffer from that issue. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. We're going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that these guys weigh in at 7 ounces exactly, which like I said is very light, but at the same time this shoe is extremely comfortable. So if you are looking for that type of combination, the Hypervenom Phantom is definitely something to consider. Alright, here is a look at the Neolime Hypervenom Phantoms on feet. And when I put this shoe on, there's really two things that come to mind. One, the Nike Skin Upper, which is extremely soft and flexible and just very, very natural feeling on feet. It truly does feel like a sock. And the other thing that really is significant to this shoe is the X1.1 last, which is a last that is designed to fit more closely to the natural curves of your foot. It's slightly wider in the forefoot. It's slightly narrower in the toe box area. And it makes for a very tight fit at first, but give it a couple hours of breaking time in the Nike skin, like I mentioned earlier, does actually have the ability to stretch and the overall level of comfort you get from this shoe, being that it is relatively lightweight at seven ounces, is actually pretty incredible. In terms of the overall fit, it's one of those shoes that I think is going to be suitable for most foot types, even if you do have slightly wider feet, as long as you don't mind having that tighter fit in the toe box area, you should fit into the Hypervenom Phantom just fine, just as long as you don't have excessively wide feet, I should say. In terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size. So that's pretty much it for the on feet portion of this video, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. Alright guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Neo Lime Hypervenom Phantom. Overall, this is a fantastic shoe, one of the most unique playing experience of any boot currently out there on the market. Nike Skin is a truly remarkable material. The overall comfort and fit of this shoe is extraordinary, and the stud pattern itself isn't so bad either. Um, if you guys are looking for more information on the overall performance, like I mentioned earlier, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com, linked down below in the description. Also on that same review page, you're going to find Buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.